Yeah, well, I got an email from Jim Head just the other day as well. And I, I took his class back when I was an undergrad at Brown. And I was a biology major, you know, so I wasn't doing a lot of the geo world, but I was so interested in this space junkie anyway. So I have so many fond memories. He taught me so much. And that was such an incredible opportunity. Even got to meet John and Andy Glenn back then because of Jim. So that was an extraordinary experience that I think, you know, mentors like that, like Jim and others at Brown and, and other ver various points throughout my life helped me believe and, and realize that this was a reality if I wanted to set my mind to it. So I think, you know, that Apollo legacy, it changed so many things. I think some of the things that are important to me are how pivotal those first images were in shaping the environmental movement. You know, that Apollo 8 Earthrise photo was critical. It was the first time that human eyes were looking back at the planet and people realized we have this fragile, special planet, we need to protect it. And it, it really was an important part in shaping that whole movement, which is astounding, because I don't think that anybody thought we're leaving the planet to discover the planet. But that's exactly what happened. It really helped shape how we treat our own planet. It's so important. And that kind of, it's the same thing for any kind of basic science, right? Sometimes the most impressive outcomes and most significant outcomes are the ones that we don't expect. And that's why we do science. That's why we do basic science.